Hello Summoners and welcome back to another episode of Pro Guide's Best Champion of Main, now in patch 12.13. The champion that we pick for this series are strong picks with high performance but have low low ban rates and are unlikely to get nerfed anytime soon. They are reliable picks for climbing and are worth investing your time in. We also have a series that covers the most broken contested picks in each role, so be sure that you're subbed to the channel so you don't miss out when we post those as well. We'll be starting things out in the top lane with Lilia. While Lilia's kit isn't necessarily the most mechanically taxing to master, it does take a bit of getting used to to be a top lane main. Most champs in this role are all about going in and committing to long extended fights. Lilia technically does one of those drawn out battles, but the way that you want to go about it is totally different. Instead of just running at your foe and trading blows, you want to constantly kite in and ship away with your Q, and leaving your foes to burn down to your passive. You don't really want to commit overly hard to fights with Lilia unless your opponents are super low. If you're tired of being stuck in your current elo, the first step to climbing is fixing your champion pool. That's why we make these videos, so you can get the right champion or champs for you. After you decide on what you're going to play, you have to then learn how to play it correctly. It can take many, many games to learn a new champion, but you don't have to spend days or weeks doing it alone. Our top tier coaches over at ProGuides.com can help you figure out exactly what you need to work on. They're available 24-7, so it's never really a bad time to come try one out. I promise, there's at least one that specializes in exactly what you're looking for. These guys have spent years climbing the solo queue ladder, so why wouldn't you want to steal all their solo queue tips and tricks? Find a link to our website down in the description box below. Now, let's get back on topic. The next top laner that we have is Quinn. After her buffs earlier in the season, Quinn's performance went up quite a bit. But surprisingly, people aren't really abusing her as much as you'd think they would. Usually, the high win rate champions that people stare away from are the so-called quote-unquote boring picks, like tanks or enchanters. But Quinn is a carry through and through, so it doesn't really make too much sense. She's strong early, easily winning lane against most meta picks, and is able to snowball a lead very fast in the mid game, since you can just fly around and swoop into overextended foes non-stop. The final top laner that we have for you today is Orm. The meta has been shifting pretty heavily over the past couple of months, with ticks in particular becoming overall much stronger than they were prior to the durability patch. And with this patch nerfing Divine Sunderer damage against them specifically, they're only going to be getting better, since bruisers have one less way to deal with them. Taking a look now at the jungle, our first pick is Amumu. While he's typically thought of as a scaling teamfight oriented champion, Amumu isn't a slouch early game. His jungle clear is super fast and healthy, so you're not nearly at risk of dying to invades as other scaling picks. Plus, his ganks aren't that bad pre-6. His bandage toss is more than enough to punish opponents that disrespect you early on and overextend in lane. On top of his great engage potential for teamfights, Amumu does a lot of damage for a tank. It's extremely easy for him to solo kill backline carries that don't get help from the rest of their team. The second jungler that we have for you is Echo. He's definitely a scaling pick, so if that's your playstyle, you should give him a go. One of the biggest mistakes I see with Echo players at all levels of play is their itemization. The thing with Echo is that you really need to reach his core of Rocket Belt, Sorcerer Shoes, and Lich Bane to start one-shotting squishy opponents. You should pretty much never go Zhonya's second on him, and really shouldn't need it at all, since his ultimate provides all the safety that you need in 9 out of 10 games. The final jungler that we have for you today is Rek'Sai. If you don't find the appeal of the scaling picks like our last two options, then maybe she's more your speed. With Rek'Sai, your goal is to gank fast and often, tilting your foes and closing out the game before they even get a chance to scale at all. Next up for the mid lane, the first champion that we have is Lux. While she isn't some crazy 1v9 mid laner that just wipes out the entire team like Swain or Yone when they're fed, Lux has a lot of her own selling points that make her pretty much OP. For one, even without being that fed, you can safely one-shot squishy champions from halfway across the screen. All you need to do is hit level 11 and 2 items, and anytime you land a snare, you delete them. Also, she pretty much has infinite wave clear, since her ultimate ends up being under a 30 second cooldown. And as a bonus point, she's one of the easiest champions to steal dragon and barons with, since her combo can very easily outdamage smite once you reach 3 plus items. Up next we have Annie. The seemingly small buffs that she got last patch have really helped push her up to being a really solid healthy pick. Her high burst and having a point and click stun makes her especially OP for making plays with your jungler. This can mean both calling for ganks mid, roaming with your jungler to contest the enemy jungler, or even do a co-op gank on another lane. While Singe top was actually hit pretty hard by 12.12's nurse and isn't doing so hot, Singe mid is still alive and well, and even with Predator being hit too. I guess it's too chaotic for the uncoordinated teams that you see in solo queue to keep up with. His map presence is just as insane as before, with them shoving lanes and going for non-stop roams. Even if you aren't successfully getting kills with each roam, the constant pressure that you put on other lanes and the enemy jungle is tilting and gets small leads as your foes are forced to just sit at their tower. Predator has been in the game for a relatively long time now, but Singed mid has only really shown up on the radar this season as a super dominant pick. It really makes you think what other champions could potentially abuse his rune. I know some standard AP picks like Vagar and Twisted Fate run it, but what about some other spicier picks? 
And that brings us to today's question of the day. What other off-meta picks do you think could potentially abuse Predator mid? I'm not saying I want to see it in my games, but I really wonder if Alistar could really make this work. Max Q, Rush Bomb, and constantly shove waves in Rome. I'm not going to do it myself, but <laughs> maybe it's hilarious to watch. Anyway, let us know what you think could work in the comments down below. Now, without further ado, let's get back on topic, shall we? Moving things down to the bot lane, our very first pick that we have is Kogma. For some reason, Riot can't stand to let the Void Puppy ever be anything less than good. He was ridiculously OP for a while, and once they finally nerfed him, they immediately gave it a partial revert. Honestly, I don't know why more people don't abuse him. Usually when you think of Hyper Carry, it's supposed to be a champion that spikes the three items, but Kogma outdamages any other marksman the second you hit Gensu's in lane. The second bot lane carry that you should consider maining is Karthus. He's basically always at least a decent pick down here, but with Riot trying to buff his viability as a jungler, they're really just making him stronger and stronger as a laner. This time around, the buffs that they're giving him is to his armor and HP, which means that he's just even more of an anti-marksman now. The final bot laner that we have for you is Tristana. If you want a balls to the walls full aggro pick, she's the one for you. Tristana is one of the ADCs that can actually force fights hard in the bot lane. I'm not saying it's always the best to jump right into your foes in all matchups, but when you see a good opportunity, don't be afraid to pull that trigger. This is especially true post 6, where you can just 100-0 any squishy foe with your full combo. Now to round out some things with our supports, the very first pick that we have for you is Sona. If you're the type of player that just likes to survive the early game and have a huge impact in the mid to late game, Sona is the one for you. As far as supports go, she's probably the closest thing to a hyper carry that you're gonna get. The constant damage boosts, heals, shields, and speed boosts all start to add up really, really quickly in fights when you're constantly just spamming them on your entire team. Another enchanter that you should consider picking up is Janna. Like Sona, she's an enchanter that just aims to keep her allies alive in fights, but she trades out some of the god tier scaling that Sona has for a much better proactive early game. While most enchanters just kind of want to glue themselves to their ADC, as Janna, you have pretty good roaming potential, so be sure to show some early map presence. Help your jungler secure Scuttle, gank mid, or if you're really feisty, you can even pay a very unexpected visit to top lane. Finishing off our list, we have Zyra. If you want a completely dominant lane, she's the absolute best pick for that. No other support even comes close to being as oppressive as she is. In a lot of matchups, you can literally 1v2 the enemy bot lane with your plants doing all the heavy lifting while you just sit safely out of range. Ho 6 can go from being a standard poke mage to having one of the deadliest all-in combos in the game, with the ability to very easily set up double kills for your ADC if your opponents get caught out. And the really nice thing about Zyra is that you aren't just some lane bully that just falls off hard like other OP early game champions. Her scaling is insane, with huge DPS and CC potential in later fights. And that is it for our top 3 picks to main on patch 12.13. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you sub so you never miss out on our meta guides, and you're always going to be on the loop on what the best picks are. Remember to let us know what off-meta champion you think could start abusing Predator mid in the comments down below. And one last thing, don't forget to check out our Discord in the description box below where you can discuss the league further or just hang out and be part of the community. I can't wait to see you guys back in the next video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.